So I've been asked a lot about what I personally think about Lil Mosey and his whole alleged rape case. Obviously you guys know that I'm one of the biggest fans of Lil Mosey. I absolutely love him, I love his music and so like hearing about this came as a huge, huge shock to me. Like. I was pretty upset. But for those of you that don't know, Mosey has a warrant out for his arrest and is possibly facing life in prison. Back in January the 6th, 2020, two women went to Mosey's party at a cabin after seeing him perform. According to court records, the woman said that there were other people there and they told detectives that they kept to themselves most of the night. And now here is where I find it pretty strange because then it says that they got drunk off white claw and champagne. But is that a very logical thing for people to do when they're at a party? full of random strangers. They decide to get drunk. In an affidavit, one of the alleged victims stated that she did consent to having sex with Mosey in a vehicle, but goes on to say she blacked out afterwards in the cabin from too much alcohol. Now here's where the facts start to get fuzzy and uh, reading lots of different news outlets, I got a bit confused. I don't know if they were talking about two different women having two different experiences or if they just got the facts mixed up. But it was noted in a few stories that the woman had no specific memory of the rape taking place. However, did wake up to find bruises on her neck, arms and inner knees, which were unexplained. She later heard her friends telling her she had sex with Mosey and other party goers, saying Mosey and his friends had been talking about training two girls. Whereas other stories says the alleged victim blacked out and woke up to find Mosey on top of her. She then blacked out again a second time and woke up to Mosey's less famous friend by the name of Cisco forcing himself on her. I was a bit confused with those two stories. I don't know if one of the women don't remember the rape at all but got told about it and the other woman does wake up to it or they've just fully got confused with the stories. Now getting on to my personal opinion of it all, I feel like with famous artists and rappers and famous people in general, actors and things, rape cases are very, very difficult than a normal rape case would be. Well, the first thing I don't understand is these are famous people. Famous people get a lot of women. So why are there so many cases about them raping other people? And why do these cases always get dropped? That's what I don't understand. So that's what makes sometimes, I'm not saying this is all the case, like as a woman myself, rape is a very serious thing. And if it's been alleged that someone's been raped, it should be looked into. It should be looked into a lot more for a famous person though, because there is a lot of corruption out there with people wanting money or fame on being known or being able to just have that name saying, oh yeah, I had time with this person. So in my personal opinion, it could be true. It could potentially be true that Morsi did rape these two girls and obviously i would be heartbroken like that is the saddest thing because i did have a lot of respect for him and i loved him as an artist but there could also be that chance that these women are maybe making up twisting bits of the truth because at the end of the day it's their truth mosey's truth and the truth so they could be twisting up that truth and saying things in a way for mosey to maybe give them money or for them to say yeah i had time with mosey or any sort of thing like that because at the end of the day with rappers and artists it happens so much but it's a bit difficult to understand the logic behind it because it can already get so many women but yeah i'm definitely not saying that any of this is a lie i'm not saying that these women are lying about being raped because obviously that's a disgusting thing to think and if Mosey did do it yeah fair enough it's a disgusting thing and he should deserve the punishments that he gets it said that in Washington they get life in prison as it's like a class A crime life in prison for a 19 year old or I think it's a $50,000 fine I'm not sure yeah like I said before if this is actually true and if she did get raped by these guys they deserve the punishment because rape is not something that you can justify but who's to know what the truth is at the moment in time and because it's so apparently this was last year and with all the confusing like facts on the news and things it is difficult to know what's going on and what's what's happened what actually happened you hear about it all the time this famous person's allegedly raped somebody and then it gets dropped and you don't hear about it again nobody goes to prison so what, what's happened? What happened in that time? Have they given the alleged victim the money that they wanted? What's happened? Like us as a public eye don't know the actual truth behind stuff. It also is very, very dodgy, the fact that Lil Mosey didn't actually go to his court case. Now that screams not innocent. That does, straight out there. If he's innocent, why has he not turned up to his court case? That doesn't make sense because 
if you're innocent, you're gonna wanna shout it to everyone. I'm innocent, I've not done anything wrong. And he's deleted his social media. Well, he's deleted the post. I feel like with the social media thing though, he could have deleted it because of, he don't want things to be twisted and portray him in a way that looks worse than it is. But for him not turning up to his court case, 100% in the wrong. I don't agree with that because that seems so guilty. But again, like I'm saying, we don't know the complete truth to it all. I feel like when alcohol is put into these situations, everything gets a lot more fuzzy. And if everyone at this party has been drinking and the police have like interviewed all these people at the party, they're never gonna have solid facts. They might see if they line up in any sort of way, but if everyone's been drinking, nobody's gonna remember the complete truth if they've all been drinking a lot. And with that, if mosey has been drinking and the other girl been drinking and they're both very, very drunk, Who's to know that she did give consent? I just think a lot of things when it comes to alcohol and rape are very, very difficult to understand and need to be really, really looked into and investigated. But yeah, that is my opinion of the whole Lil Mosey case. I just hope it's not true. But you know, if it is, it is what it is. And yeah, that's all I can say to that. Sometimes people are what you think they are. And as a famous person, you never know who they truly are. But yeah, that is it. Bye.